predictability. The force of gravity, predictable. Nuclear fusion, predictable. My brother peeing in the shower, repulsive, but predictable. What isn't predictable? Dogs. I've always- Ripple's first unique walking stick. Her brother. That's not my walking stick. Lunch is ready. Can you go get your brother? I'm watching TV. Just go. We have to do smurf and everything around here. We're feeding him, right? Maybe he's teasing. You know, when Billy was little, he chewed right through his playpen. No kidding. Only had three teeth. Mostly gummed it. So how y'all want to fix it? Well, I figure I'll patch it, run some chicken wire along the bottom. Yes. An ice cube to cool it off? I went with two today. You've been through enough. I prefer one ice cube. Drink it. At least this time sound came out. A dead squirrel in our living room. Well, he is part hunting dog. I think that means he likes you. I'm not interested in winning his affection. I'm interested in keeping dogs and rodents outside of my home. What? Well, now, hold on. How do we know it was Bucky that left that squirrel in your house? Oh. Oh, oh, Night. I don't understand why that dog is so interested in Shelby. Maybe Bucky likes the way Sean smells. Your brother washed himself. Handler. What? Thank you. Why do people like me? How long you and Herschel been married? 18, 19 years? 19, but it feels like 30. <laughs> well, y'all are a great couple. Hmm. I just wanted to thank you for being so patient and kind to my daughter and her family since they moved in. Okay, see now, Brenda, you don't want to go calling my grandson weird when I've just treated you to a margarita grande. Well, I'm sorry, but you shouldn't be inferring there's something wrong with my Billy. Darling, there's no inferring. I've seen the boy sitting in the... Books on overcoming phobias? That's in the self-help section. Follow me. I have read them all. Any phobia in particular? Dogs. Ah, oh, cynophobia. That's a good one. Did you know there's over 50 million dogs just... For a plate glass window. <laughs> okay, that's enough. And finally, a close encounter of the third kind. Physical contact with a member of the canine species. Hello, I'd like to speak with the veterinarian. Now, it says here in Mark 12, 31, that you should love your neighbor as yourself. Anybody like to take a guess what that means? Missy. It means to be nice to the people who live next door. That's right. Just love your neighbor, okay? Now, I am more than willing to look the other way when my parishioners don't get along with each other. That sort of thing happens. But when it becomes a problem for the children, then I have to intervene. Hello, Bucky. Are you a good dog? Please be a good dog. Please. I'm doing it. I'm petting the dog. I've conquered my phobia. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. <sighs> I think Jesus might go check that out. How's it going in there, baby? Okay, but we're gonna need more. It's a mystery. I guess we'll never know. Hey, Moon Pie. I got you a little something to help you get over your fear of animals. Well, yeah, he's a fish. I put my finger Tank. Then I touched him, and he bit me. Oh, I'm sure he didn't bite you. I can't breathe. This fish blood is mixing with my human blood. Maybe he was.